If it's makeup on the go, she's the girl you need to know. Tell your friends, tune on in to the next of Kim show. Could be fashion on a budget, it don't matter, she be on it. She's a gem of all trades. Next of Kim and self Girl, you know she did my nails. Yeah, she killing in the game. Just the other day, she did her hair and baby, it was late. So it What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Kim on the cam, and I am back with another video for the channel. Let's get into it. First things first, if you are new here, I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. But make sure that you subscribe to the Knock Nation, okay? Hit that subscribe button right now, and also don't forget to turn on your post notifications. That way, you will be notified the next time I upload. And why? If you've been watching videos, you know why. But I'm gonna tell you again because I will be dropping bangers. Okay, I am back again with another video and I am saying this because I am surprised at myself that I am being more consistent. I have been recording videos, editing, uploading, just doing a whole lot you guys, trying to get out content for you guys. So pray for me, okay? Because it is a lot of work when you still have a real job in real life. But I'm trying my best to really commit to this YouTube thing you guys so that I can really get my subscriber count up. We're gonna jump straight into today's video, y'all. I wanna get this done kinda quick because it's already kinda late in the day, but um, a girl got things to do. And also, there's just too much in this video to pass it up that I did not include. So, if you did not watch my last video, make sure that you go back and watch that. But my last video, you guys saw that I reviewed Dare to Have Hair. So, I'm going to now be installing the black wig on my head, okay? I did not get a chance to pluck this wig yet. I might try and pluck it really quick right now, but sometimes plucking can take a long time, especially if you want it to be really customized and really, really good. Make sure that you like this video right now. If you have not done that already, like this video for me right now. Leave me a comment below. If you have questions about anything that you see here, any sort of like words of encouragement, anything you wanna say, I do read my comments and I will reply to you. And if I do not reply, at the least, I know that I will see it, possibly like it, okay? So just leave me something in the comments, y'all. Share this video, of course, as I already emphasized, make sure you subscribe to the Knock Nation, you guys. We are on the road to what? 1K subscribers, but we wanna go above and beyond. So we gotta start somewhere. So make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications. Let's jump right into this video. I am also going to be installing my hair for the first time with a new glue. Normally my go-to glue or what I like the most that I've been using most recently was a lace grip. So if you do not know what lace grip looks like. All right, this is close enough. So this is what lace grip looks like, you guys. This is one of my favorite glues. It's really, really good for me because I'm somebody that sweats. I don't sweat super heavy, but when I sweat, I do tend to sweat from my scalp. So sometimes when I'm wearing wigs, I need a glue that is long lasting, waterproof, and all that so I heard really 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 good reviews about this glue so I'm going to be officially trying it for the first time on camera with you guys and that glue is the hold me down adhesive it's the watermelon scented one by Erica J for those of y'all that follow arrogant Tay because he be doing everything here just slaying everything he definitely has shouted out this glue he's using this glue all the time so I said let me buy this glue because this lace grip glue was almost done anyway and it might have actually unfortunately dried out because I broke the top but yes I said let me try this glue out and see what it's hidden for so I'm going to be using this glue today to do my install I'm also going to be trying my install slightly different from what I usually do and what I mean by that is the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, apply my wig cap with the glue as well to make this a longer lasting install rather than using got to be just to see if it makes a difference for me personally so as you can see bonnet is on my head Ooh, and now that's all. I can't, <laughs> I can't braid myself personally, but um, I know some people that can. Just got me some little, they don't even even, I'm not even on cap, and I really don't care, it doesn't matter. I believe I shouted this out in a previous video before, but this is like your basic, um, your basic beauty store wig cap, love the material, I feel like it stretches really nice. And also, my makeup sits on this very, very well. Normally when I get a fresh one, I like to just go like this, kind of just to stretch it out a little bit because the band can be a little snug because as I said, this watermelon head, it's a little large. Usually, I'd be doing the whole entire like pull it down over your eyes thing, but we're just gonna do it like this. I feel like it'll be stretched enough. So boom, so here we are, right? Got some new scissors, you guys, these metal hair scissors. There was nothing wrong with the other scissors I had, but when we went on that road trip, <laughs> um, I forgot to take my scissors out the house with me for the road trip. And as you know, I was not trying to sit there 
and um, take down my braids literally from the end of the braid. Okay, boom. So now that our ear tabs are cut, we're gonna go in with this now. And we're gonna do a very thin line coat of this because I'm using hair glue now for this. I know that I don't need to use as much as I used to use when it comes to like the got to be to secure this down. So I'm just gonna do a dot across my hairline or like right in front of my hairline. Put this wig cap like so. You know, I always like to put a little bit of extra in the corners because that's where I feel like it'd be going first. Our tail comb, you could use a popsicle stick, but um. I don't have those and so now we're just gonna spread this like this so just like so you guys and now I'm gonna get the blow dryer I'm gonna do this off camera just because it's very noisy so I will be back when this is dry so now I'm going to come and cut off the front of the wig cap so I'm just gonna leave this like this I'm gonna apply a little bit more glue to just secure down these little um edge pieces that might be out as I said I'm not gonna go super crazy I will probably end up just customizing it and plucking it more over time I have yet to actually install the wig on my head on my personal hairline to see how it's gonna look so until I do that I'm not gonna really know the entirety of how much I need to pluck or what I want to pluck but I'm just gonna do a little something something so it's not looking too full in the front all right y'all so I'm back as you can see my wig cap is now fully applied the glue is dried and I've already put my foundation on here my trusty wig on its wig stand and I'm going to pluck let me lower this really quick to like right here so I can see but so you can see I've already pre separated out some of the hairs in the front so this is my main line that I'm going to start plucking behind so basically I'm just gonna pluck a little bit behind this line and then I'm gonna part another another section forward and then pluck behind that and then go back and pluck behind that that's pretty much how it works but as I said it's a little bit easier sometimes when you either have the wig on or you already know how it's gonna go on your head because then you know exactly how your hairline is shaped but I'm just gonna do like my most basic pluck just to take some of the extra hairs out So you guys, after you're done plucking, you just wanna comb through the hair and this is how you just basically are able to tell what you've taken out so far. So I just take my rat tooth comb and I come and I just comb behind the hairline. So this shows me exactly how much hair I have taken out. So, so far, this is what I've plucked. Maybe a little bit more than that, but maybe everything didn't come out at once. So I'm gonna throw this out. We're gonna do one more round, just one more um, part back just so that I'm sure that I kind of at least did a little something and I'm gonna leave it like that as I said if I need to pluck more I will do it at a later date y'all I'm back and it's crazy because just as I was saying I feel like my camera battery's about to die soon it started to die as soon as I stopped that last clip I still do need to buy myself an extra battery I actually did buy this dummy battery off of Amazon so I'm gonna plug that in this video as well so basically that dummy battery is it's a fake battery that goes in the compartment but it plugs into like a outlet so you're able to use the camera for unlimited time without having to worry about your battery dying so it comes in clutch for when I'm doing these types of videos when I'm sitting down of course it wouldn't work well for vlogs I'm gonna put the link for that in the description box below as well if you would like to get that and you have a Canon M50 it has been very good to me it works very well it doesn't cause any issues of overheating or anything like that with the camera so I would definitely recommend checking that out and trying it so as you guys can see wig is now I said that I'm gonna stop plucking here for now as you can see it has a little it's been plucked a little bit it's a little something something the sides are still very full maybe if I just spin around you guys might be able to see it so I really just go by feel so this is where the back of the leg cap is at and then as you guys can see this is like the last bottom braid that they use to connect everything together so I'm just going to sew this little um band piece the thickest part of the wig cap and I'm just going to sew it right onto this bottom braid that so now as you can see there's just like literally a couple of stitches here so now this is secure and now this isn't going to roll up when I put my wig on take my little fancy foundation real quick 
and I'll just do like a little spurt on my hand or let's do two because sometimes one isn't enough and then I'm gonna use this foundation brush this is a flat square foundation brush but it, it still works the same so I just like to go like so and you go like that on your hand to spread it out so you're not putting a thick big piece of foundation because it'll go right through and then you're gonna take your lace I'm trying to do this so you guys can see this is our lace now with our um, foundation on it. Let's come in with our glue again and put on our three coat. Second layer. Boop, boop, boop. So the last coat of glue. So this is the moment of truth, guys. We're about to apply this wig right now, so. You know me, I hold the front of my lace. I love my little flip back just to get it on and out the way. And so this is where I do like my preliminary like pull on just to kind of set it up, make sure it's nice and even on my head, which it is. And then, as I said, I secure the middle first. So I'll put my thumbs underneath my wig cap like this. And you can see that my hairline is about here, or that's where I want it to be. So we're gonna pull this forward and we're gonna apply it right like a little bit in front of the um the glue so boom right there so i pull that forward apply that like that take my comb and start brushing or combing back those sections just like that so boom so we do that and we're gonna come over here only thing that I'm going to cut right now is right by my ears and then I'm going to tie this baby down. So I'll come right by my ear. I never like this part because you always technically lose a little tiny bit of your um your frontal when you do this but I just cut around and behind the ear like so. So boom. You didn't lose too much here so cut off the sides pull your ear through in front so that way your install is nice and flush with your ear and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side we're going to take our elastic band and tie this baby down all right you guys so I decided to actually cut the um, lace that's left to chop off into little sections like this I'm gonna leave this on to dry only for like another five to ten minutes but as of right now i am in love with this glue i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 but i would definitely say stay tuned i'll probably put it in the comments under this video i put on three coats of glue so i'm not gonna keep this on for three weeks i'll tell you that right now but we're, let's see how we're looking after a week or after two weeks and see how the wig is looking so far so good so here we are let me show you guys a close-up this is what my hairline is looking like before I cut off all this extra lace and so now I'm going to cut the lace and I definitely have to say even though I use scissors for cutting my wig cap when it comes to cutting off your lace here I live by this okay as I was saying you need that jagged edge that jagged cut so for this specifically for cutting this lace now that my wig is applied I definitely 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 recommend using yourself an eyebrow razor okay it's like the best thing that you can probably do for your install in terms of cutting it so now we're gonna come in and I'm gonna start in the middle and I use the scissors to cut the flaps as I told you just so it makes it a little bit easier but now I'm gonna take this I love this because look sometimes all you gotta do is just touch the lace and it just cuts it and so we're just gonna work our way across the whole entire hairline cutting it as close to our hair as we can More or less, this is gonna be okay for now. It's as much in the middle as it's gonna get, I think. So we're gonna use this right here. And this is the She Is Bomb Hair Wax Stick. I got this from Amazon. They do some other some beauty supply stores, but if you can't find it at your local beauty supply, just look on Amazon, they do have it. Let's do the part first. Okay, boom, just like that. I love using the hot comb because it really just flattens out your wig, guys. 
So we're just going to come in with one more small dot of our foundation. And this is obviously a step that you will not need with the HD lace. But this is not a HD lace, as I said, which I completely understood. So it just takes a little bit more customizing. But I'll just come with my same brush that I used before. And now go across my hairline. Go down our part in the middle. I take my elastic band once again and tie this down and I'm going to leave this tied down so I'll be back you guys just to show you the finished product when I get back home so that I can actually just like do my edges and whatnot because that's the only thing that's missing I'm probably gonna put edges on this to really help blend out that line because it is a little harsh not what I was fully expecting but as I said this is why you get yourself HD lace but overall there's nothing wrong with the lace itself so I have to give the hair a 10 out of 10 I just personally know that I can't really use Swiss lace too much because of my skin tone which is not a problem black is beautiful the darker the berry the sweeter the juice you know the vibe it laid down really well adhered really well and all of that it's just that um I personally don't match the lace color that this comes with which is why as a dark skinned girl you want to go for that transparent or HD lace because they don't make the the regular like medium brown lace and stuff like that for our skin tone. So y'all it is now a lot later in the night but I came back home and I decided even though I am a little tired that I was still gonna just get this out of the way so I have actually still been doing some customization. I've been plucking but probably have still more to pluck but I might have to just stop here for the night so what I am going to do is just show you making my edges so if you can't see I've already separated the hairs that I'm going to cut to make my edges and you don't need a lot so even though it doesn't look like it's that much right now once I cut them and I lay the hairs down you're gonna realize it's more than enough So I'm gonna cut all of this off, you guys. I know it doesn't look like it's a lot of hair, but. super tired so I'm gonna pretty much leave it like this for now this is the hair it's getting a little um frizzy because it's not wet anymore but you guys already saw the hair the curl pattern so you guys as you can see this is how my install turned out overall let me give you a little bit of a close-up you guys so once again we know this is not an HD or a transparent lace this is a Swiss lace but I feel like overall I pretty I did pretty decent at trying to kind of melt it personally for my skin tone and into my scalp and I feel like it does need to be plucked maybe a little bit more I took out a pretty decent amount of hair but I could probably pluck it a little bit more which I'll do in the morning because it is kind of late so I'm getting ready to go to bed anyway but I just wanted to show you guys ideally what my edges are gonna look like so I'm gonna actually be tying this up and getting ready for bed right now because I'm super tired I had a long day so if you did not see my last video when I originally reviewed this hair when I got it I gave it a 9 out of 10 and that was only because I had not installed the hair yet so this is now my updated official rating for dare to have hair I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 you guys this hair is a great amazing quality it's super soft I've colored it I um I bleached the knots and honestly like the quality of the hair is just so amazing it's so soft silky it retains moisture well and I just honestly I haven't straightened it yet but I'm not planning on really straightening this wig too much but I'm very happy I'm very happy with the quality of the hair the frontal is super full so it's good because 
it gives you a lot of room to really customize it and pluck it how you want so i feel like overall it was a really really good buy the frontal is amazing the bundle is amazing because that's what you guys are seeing the most of once again as i said this entire wig yes the entire wig is not from dare to have hair but most definitely the frontal and the bundle that is on top so technically the bundle that you're seeing the most of under this frontal is dare to have hair and it blended in really well with my old hair so i have no complaints you guys so if you would like to get you some hair from dare to have hair head over to their website check them out on instagram i'll probably put that in the description box below there's actually a code over there in your description box that can get you 10 percent off your order if you'd like to order so once again this is how my install came out these are what my edges are looking like for right now but i'm probably going to do them over and style them a little bit differently tomorrow when i actually have to go outside but i just wanted to show you guys the finished product thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video i hope that you will stay tuned because i do have a lot more in store and on the way you guys and i hope to see you very very soon without further ado i'm not here to waste anybody's time especially not mine i will see you in my next upload i'm out of here